Alright guys, we're back. Continuing on where we last left off, and that was pretty much getting rid of the toxic air over here with the air purifiers. Now we can move on and go talk to Clara. I think that's how you say her name. Oh god, there's a lot of people over here. Oh yeah, this is a dungeon, isn't it? I forgot about that. Choose me a reward. Which one do I want? I guess I'll take attack. Why not? I did forget that I just unlocked my other my other starstone slots, so I can actually put those in. Evasion. I'm gonna leave that for my assassin, or either get this one for assassin. I'm not sure. Or I'll put this one on him. Hmm. I'll, I'll figure it out. I'm gonna put this one in too. I have quite a few of those. Alright, so we're gonna go to Omar's dungeon. Hey guys, come on. Well, I can actually mob these guys since they're very low level and this is so low. So I wouldn't have to worry about anything major. Hey guys, what's up? Come on, come on, come on. As you can see, I'm ripping through these guys pretty fast. Well, I've taken a, a little bit of damage, but nothing like over-damaging. You can still sit down. I'm pretty sure that recovers still. Yeah, it still recovers fast. So, if you guys don't know, you can push X to sit down and cover a lot faster. I guess that still applies to all of the X Legend games. I don't think they'll ever take that out. I think they took it out in Dragomon, though. <laughs> Alright, bring it on, Omar. I beat you once, I can beat you again. I don't know what that weird glitch was where you just, like, showed two of you, but... I'm gonna pretend like that didn't happen. And he's down for the count. Alright, so let's check out some of these equipments that we just got. We just got three chests. We can equip that. Alright, that is what it said. It gives us extra HP. No, I don't mind that. Okay, I'm getting more powerful helmets than anything. Uh, the boots and bracelet. Basically, a hands. Are, are their own set too, which gives me a, a lot more attack. Now we need the hands, I believe. Okay, we got the chest instead, but that gives us extra HP. Okay, I want to change this. Or do I want to keep it there? But we can uh, fuse the rest of these equipments. Since we do got duplicates.
Alright, now we can move on through. Then go fight Alucard. Hey guys, bop up on me. Thanks, buddies. Come on. Ah, oh, these guys look drunk. Alright, let's get rid of you guys. Ah, oh, thanks for the chess. I need those. I actually really do. Now, let's hope we can get good equipment. Uh... We didn't get what we needed, but we did get better armor. So what we're going to do is use again. Alright, we got some more boots that we can fuse. We're going to go fight Alucard over here. Hello, buddy. Don't mind if we destroy you. You piece of junk. <laughs> Gonna use our ultimate, which barely ever does damage. Which I wonder why I always use it. Now, we beat Alucard and we got achievements and probably a title off of it. And there is our first keystone. Well, I guess it's a tier, but it looks like a keystone. And now we're going to see our amazing animation as it goes down into our slot. So, the goal at the moment is to collect all these tiers and put them inside of this, like, thing. This is called... I guess it's like a celestial room where you have to collect all the tiers and put them in there. Now we did level again, so let's go ahead and put our points into this. It gives us more damage. Now she's gonna bring back, um... I think it's Samuel, back from the dead. Because if you guys don't remember, Samuel killed himself at the beginning. He must sacrifice himself to save us. And now Samuel's one of our allies to where we can use him as we wish. Once we turn this in, that is. Now we can equip Samuel once we get through this little intermission. Just open this. Oh, just another item I don't need. You really need to go sell these two. But we can equip Samuel by moving him over there. And now we have two familiars equipped. And now Samuel's skill is down here. 
both Samuel, well, any familiar in the game, both of these cost SP, which is down here. And SP refills with different skills and just attacking. Now this is talking about daily dungeons. You can enter each dungeon like I believe they like reset every two hours, so you can pretty much go in there a lot. Catch a ride. We're gonna ride on this to the kingdom, I believe. Now that we're done with this area, we can just leap on out. Now, I believe we did not do our green quest, but I'm gonna make like separate videos on the green quests and how to do them. Yep, we're going to the Royal Kingdom. Yeah, he gets air sick. Yeah, I'll save that for a tutorial. Now then, let's head on to the queen. Or to the palace, I guess. I believe she's the queen, at least. I believe we're greeted by the princess first. Yeah, she's the queen. Ah, so she was a princess. Okay. I forgot about that. Yeah, she was like in a disguise. Now we get to meet the queen. Like the most fanciest throne ever. I like how I was all the way up there at her throne and I'm now all the way back here. Now the journey through the throne. Not a actually bad throne room. Actually quite large at that. Jesus, I don't really think a king or queen would need that much space, but apparently they do. Alright, we got something here. Oh yeah, loyalty points for each thing we do. Uh, let me delete that. I believe this is where we also get Paladin as well. I believe that's after a few things we do. At the moment, I'm gonna put in some points. And, okay, quit clicking that. I'm gonna put in our little star stone here. Have a little bit extra stuff. We can keep moving on. Now pretty much what we're gonna do is like visit all the merchants like 
Pretty much every MMO makes us do. Yep, the royal tour, so I'm pretty much just visiting everything and every person. This guy is the banker where you can just leave all your stuff in. He is right here, as you can see these little chests right here. That is the banker. I'm gonna leave some stuff in there if I can. I'm gonna leave this costume in there. Well, hold on. I can go to this tab and leave my costumes in there. I don't have very many. I don't think I need anything else in there. But I just did get a trinket. I believe it's a trinket. Yep. I got a trinket. I got another trinket. Wait, can I not put one down there? That's weird. I guess I can't put the same trinket Now we're gonna go talk to Judy. Judy? Judy something? Ah, oh, God. I can't pronounce names right now. But we can't sell stuff to her since she's the general, general merchant for pretty much the potion shell seller. She sells other things too. Let me repair my gear. Even though I don't need it, just making sure. Sell all this. You can control and right click to sell everything without going through the whole do you want to sell. Wait, should I sell that too? I feel like I should because I don't really need it since I already have one of them. I do have enough gold to make a guild which I'll do later. Now this guy is pretty much a blacksmith, sells weapons and everything, but the weapons are actually pretty crappy, don't don't even waste it. He's just pretty much a place where you can just repair and get rid of stuff. Same goes for the armor merchant, unless you like got rid of all your equipment. They're pretty much there to back you up. Alright. We're done with our Grand Tour. Now give me my Paladin. Which is probably still later on down the quest or story. I gotta say, the kingdom is very detailed. X Legend does a great job on their maps. It's just the creatures that worry me, because some of them are always revamped for them. They just pretty much just change the skin and just slap something else on it. That's the thing I always disliked that area games allowed them to do. Well, I guess they don't have a say on what they're, like, I guess they don't have a say what the game uh, developers do. Considering they're just the publishers. But revamping your monsters, or reskinning, whichever one you want to call it, is like gets really old and we all can tell that they're reskinned all right we're getting paladin now paladin is pretty tanky i'll admit that it's actually a pretty decent like class
as you can see, we just got a paladin. Now... We got another class added on to the bunch. Next is Archer, then we got Rogue, then Berserker, then Occultist. I'm pretty interested to see how Occultist plays. Hopefully it plays like an actual debuffer or a Necromancer. Without the Necromancer, pretty sure it's pretty much a main debuffer. The only thing I really dislike is when the words like go onto the character picture and it makes it extremely harder to read. Well, not extremely, it just makes it somewhat difficult to read. And I wish the box was like a little bit bigger to where the, all the dialogue could be in it and not over the picture. Oh, yeah, we get uh, our cottage really soon. Yeah, the Fight Club quest. I wonder if this is actually working. So, something else we had points. Or is that for you? Okay, that's for you. Let's go check the Fight Club. The Fight Club quest is actually pretty quick. There we go. I like how she's flirting with me behind that dude. She just blew me a kiss. You guys saw that, right? Alright. Does it actually work now? Let's see. Band of Brawlers. I like the challenge. Okay. It seems like you have the challenge letter. Ah, so we actually need actual challenge letters just to fight them, huh? Hmm, do I even have any? Yeah, I have some. These are from the, um, story quests. Pretty much where I got these. I can fight the rich bird now. Come at me, bird. I'm gonna use Samuel here. Oh god, there is no escaping that. But he's not all that difficult, it's just weird bouncing around everywhere. <laughs> Okay, okay, bird. You're gonna have to quit throwing me into the sky. Okay, uh, okay, okay. Buddy, buddy. There we go. As you can see, we can uh, get a costume with it as we craft it. Not really sure how many we have to have. Oh dear god, that's how many we have to have just to craft it. Jeez, man, come on. So, once you guys get the... Like... Fighting these birds, or... Rich bird. You have to have 140... Of these... Fragments, just to craft the item. Yeah, we could channel... We can challenge a... Elemental... Overmind. Wonder what level he is... Or, or she. I guess she's still the same level.
Alright, she wasn't as bad because she didn't have anything to keep throwing me up into the air with. Alright, so she gives that, which I can put on my male character for some reason. I guess I would hide it, so I can hide my embarrassment and shame. A lightning streak is still there. Does that damage me if I step in it? No? That's weird. But you guys know where to come now just to do these, like, brawls. I'm gonna go out and continue on. After I put in a point right there. There we go. Now I'm gonna probably be finishing up this episode really soon. So I can continue on. Everyone's saying they're selling Berserker class. Do you actually have to buy Berserker? If so, that's like really weird. There's another thing I want to do before I wrap up the video, and that's test out the... Well, see how Auction's doing. Where is my Auction? There it is. Right before we end it, because there is a costume that I really love and want. But everyone wasn't... But nobody was selling it. I don't think anybody crafted it, actually. Body costume. Well, body outfit is what it was. I think the only one... Okay, never mind. Yep, it's, it's female again, for some reason. Everybody's not making any other ones, and the prices have gotten more ridiculous. In beta, it wasn't even this high, but I guess since the... New, newer players are coming in, they're making it a lot higher than they were. Yeah, sadly I can't get it. Rip the dream. I guess I'll be saving up or crafting my own. You can buy mounts, and the mounts prices are pretty high, but... You know, there's only a little mounts in the game, so I won't hold that against anybody. Where's that? It, like, has a little face on it. Never seen this hat. But they have a few costumes that you can craft through your, um, cottage. But I, I might get into that like a little farther into the, like the game. But as of now, this is weird. Looks like they added in a lot more costumes than they had in a closed beta. Few things are cheaper, a few things are still overpriced. Still no weapon costumes. Which really suck. But we're gonna end it here guys and call it an episode. If you guys want more, just leave a like and which helps me know that you guys want me to continue this series and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.